So what was the biggest mistake you made coming up? And what was the biggest aha you had uh, building up? Oh, well, I can't say they all just happened at once. You know, obviously the first one, I tell you about the story. My credit had a cell phone bill that I didn't pay in ninth grade, came back to haunt me, really not haunt me, but it put me back on that buying process a little bit longer than I wanted to um, five years later. Um, and then I've been in investments even now. I'm 32 years old. I've been in investments that I didn't know. And that's one of the rules. Do not invest in what you know. You don't know. Uh, and I always invest with people that have skin in the game. I've done both of those. And they, the success rate wasn't there. So I make sure now, and I can only imagine as you as you do build some wealth and you feel secure in your investments that you're going to branch off and take more risk. I've done that. Um, and so now I try to make sure that I, I, I stick to what I know. So there's not just to give you the pointers and everything that the details in my life, but I've made some mistakes where, hey, if you don't if you don't know what you're investing in, don't invest. Don't invest because your friend says this or this is the next big ticker on the, the stock market exchange. That it just it's very unlikely. Everyone's getting those same tips um, and, and you're going to get burned at some point. That's definitely happened to me. Um, but I will say I got into real estate because um, at the very beginning, I really built my foundation from holding real estate and renting the properties out because um, it's been one of the stable, stablest assets for the, the test of time. Um, so I feel like once I built that up is when I started making more risk as of late. So what, what's your vision for yourself today? For your, and what role does your wife play in your success today? And where are you going? with all this? What's your vision for yourself and for your community? What what do you hope for people to hear at the memo that they need to get right now? Well, I guess first and foremost, this is, this is what I was so excited to come back to Norman and uh, to share my story. You know, I was, most athletes, black athletes, if they make it out, they, they get a step up in life. So for instance, when I came back home, no one in my circle talked to a financial advisor. No one in my circle had a CPA. No one in my circle got to talk to anybody that had a million dollars. No one in my circle had a wealth manager. So I got exposed to those things by playing the NFL. So now I got to go back home and I speak to, to speak what I know. And so on top of that, now I have my social media where I get to help somebody that looked like me at 24 years old. Um, right. The end game for me now, when I built, when I started buying investment property, it was just simply to, to gain financial freedom. Stock market investing, real estate investing was to build financial freedom. Now I'm to the point where I want to hire my people. Mm -hmm. um, so I just hired one of my first employees. Um, and so we're, we're living passively off our investments. Um, nice. Hired our first employees and now we have the sales side. So, so we're real estate agents as well. Um, so I see myself in the next 10 plus years to be able to hire people to get in this world and I can cut them a check. Um, nice. So that's my biggest thing. And so we've got the, the investment side of our holdings. We got the sales side, we got build, build our property management side, and there's no telling what we're going to have next, but that's my future goal. Uh, and I'm, I'm really at the top of the food chain in my family and, and most of my friends. So I feel like it's um, not a pressure, but, a, but an honor that I get the opportunity to have the heart to do this. Uh, but that's, that's my goal. And I can't say I have an end goal, but just to continue to build my, uh, build not just my network, build my brand, build my holdings so I can employ my people. And yeah, you've gone from cashing checks to writing them. Exactly. It's, it's a beautiful thing, but not to sidestep you on that. My wife has been, she's been the part of this whole thing. She, she was the first person that, you know, at 16 years old said, Ryan, you need to pay off your old cell phone bill. <laughs> Ryan, you need to pay your water bill. You, you, you it was on that cell phone bill, man. So she's always been on top of me there. And now she's just, uh, she's just here, you know, obviously she, she helps out with the kids. I help out with the kids. She helps out with the business. She's really my buffer. You know, I always find her, she, she's, she's, she, she has a heart of like the discernment. Like if I ever put myself in a position because I'm a giving person, she yeah. can fill she can fill out a person well before I can and know if they're a good character or not. So she definitely helps me there. And she humbles me too, though. So and I always say now as of late, women are the, the superior species because she makes a lot better decisions than I do. And I, and I definitely listen to her. Well, that, that mutual respect is, is obvious, man. And it's a beautiful thing. People who, who get married and stay married, uh, avoid poverty and experience prosperity more than any other group in this in this country and in yes. the world. Actually, you're a smart man, and uh, and behind every successful man is an exhausted woman. I, the, I think exactly. as as we wrap this up, I, there's a couple of things that hit me. One is you're the opposite of what typically happens um, in our communities. It, you know, if you hang around nine broke people, you'll be the tenth. Is my experience. 
Yes. And you, you saw that, you experienced that, and you decided to, to, to pivot. You read the right book. You got, I guess, some mentors. You, yes. You, you went, you got very curious. I mean, you're a big deal in Norman because now people can see you don't, you can't, you don't have to just play uh, professional sports. To exactly. Get out. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I definitely noticed that now that I'm back home, you know, some business owners want to invite me to this thing, whereas they don't invite my friends to it. So I definitely sit at a different table than most people, but I'm all, I'm all ears. I'm not going there. I'm the same person like I was at 18 years old. And so um, I try to bring my friends to those situations. I try to learn as much as I can to bring up my people. Um, and I think I'm almost in a, I wouldn't call it a midlife crisis, but I'm like, man, I am different, you know? And so uh, yeah. different as in good, you know, like not a lot, a lot of people of color in Norman, Oklahoma, there's probably 10% of people in Norman, Oklahoma. There's maybe two business owners that have, or that are black. Uh, wow. the, yeah. So there's wow. not many people at all. And so if anybody thinks about real estate, I, I'm most likely going to come up, whether you're a, middle-aged Caucasian white person that owns multiple businesses. If you think real estate, you think, oh, you football, I'm going to be in that picture and I get the opportunity of reaping from those rewards. But I wouldn't be able to sit at this table if I just had money. I know that much. I've been educated. I've been around people. I know how to act. I know how to dress. I know how to, to play the part to a sense. And then obviously you've got, you can kind of call your shots. You know, there's a lot of people that, that, that don't have that opportunity that have to, you know, live up to somebody else's standards. I'm I am me and, and I don't have to really answer to too many people. Obviously, I'm going to carry myself professional. I'm as professional as possible. Um, so I can continue to grow those relationships. But at the end of the day, if you don't like me for who you think I am or who I was, then I'm going to keep it moving. And I'm going to be successful without you. So uh, I feel like I'm fortunate to be in that position. Man, your, your family is lucky to have you, brother. And the community is lucky to have you. Um, we, we uh, you know, the book, The Tipping Point, Malcolm Gladwell, Proved that at five percent of role models, every community stabilizes. Five percent. Five percent. The problem in our neighborhood is that we have two percent, three percent, or less role models that that are business people like us, and so they you model what you see, and and, and all too often we're seeing the wrong, you know, the wrong sure. symbols of success, right? And so, a, a, you know, I'm hearing relationship capital. Uh, it's not just financial capital. It's it's knowing the right people. It's listening to the right people. It's hanging out with the right people. Uh, it's it's capital in your name, integrity in your name. Sure. Um, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, and in, in not just making money, but making, but but investing uh, resources. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, making money and building wealth, um, and wealth in your name and your family, your integrity, and in your portfolio. Um, you're affirming building wealth in your sleep. We both agree on that, sure. um, and. And uh, the, the, the long-term plan is freedom. And money uh, and wealth creation in and of itself is not everything, but it does give you what you said you wanted most, which is freedom. Uh, and to do what you want, go where you want, hang out with who you want, uh, mm -hmm. and become who you want. And you couldn't have done that had you not gotten your money right. <laughs> Exactly. Well said, man. Well said. I'm, I'm just taking those mental notes right there, dude. Like you, you pretty much summed it all up and I've never put it on paper that way. But yeah, I just want to continue to build the platform. And I know, you know, it's crazy. I look back at eight years ago when I bought my first house and who I am today. I can only imagine the next eight years or 18 years. It's just hopefully I'll be like you one day, man. No, no, it's the other way around, <laughs> man. We need more people like you. You are, yeah. you, are the, you are the role model, man. I'm Thank you so much for taking out your time today and 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 for inspiring in advance so many people yeah well, well appreciate you having me and allowing me to share my story man <laughs>